Lucy Maxberg. Um, we had been in a small group together for, I don't know, I think a couple of years at that point. <clears throat> she was a myth when we first started in the small group because she was pregnant, so she never came. <laughs> but she finally had baby Ella and she finally started coming to group and <clears throat> eventually she learned about Premier. And from the moment that she got involved and, and started catching the vision from um, her bestie Cheryl, she was just always passionate about it and so I wanted to be able to help her get started. So I had my epic show for her um, where one person showed up and um, was very embarrassed. I live out in a rural area. I have sometimes a hard time to get people to my house, but it um, turned out to be a good show anyway because that turned into a booking, which turned into lots and lots of other bookings for her. So in the end, it was okay. But that was my first experience. Barely made my $100, but I got a little bit of free jewelry. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the funny thing is she never, she didn't like really truly share Premiere with me in an official OP kind of way in the beginning. Um, and she talked about her business, she talked about her passion for it, she talked about how it was blessing her family, um, but she never kind of flat out said to me, you should sit down and listen to the business plan. Um, and maybe that's because we had been in the same family group for so long and she wasn't necessarily wanting to, to kind of run in and, and force all of us to sit down and listen to her. Um, but of course just watching her live her life and live her life with Premier when I ended up with a need in my life. Um, she was the f first person my husband and I talked about calling um, to bring in some extra income. Okay. Um, when I started in Premier, my expectations were um, a, a certain amount of monthly income. Um, we were trying to replace something that had been lost because my husband's um, my husband's job had been merged into another company and he had lost a percentage of his pay and our goal was to try to make up the percentage of pay that he had lost with Premier. So that's that's basically the initial reason that I got in was the finance side of it. As I started <clears throat> As I started doing shows and getting um, a better feel for what the company was really all about um, and beginning to truly understand the whole, it's about a whole lot more than jewelry and really about a whole lot more than just a paycheck, um, I was actually, I was amazed at a point early on where I didn't know what in the world I was doing that so many people wanted to talk to me about the company and I think it was I mean, I just think that the company, what they stand for, um, what happens at the shows, and the women being able to meet and connect and enjoy themselves in a way that most women don't allow themselves to take time for anymore, I just think it all came through and I began to see how much more of an impact that the company has on people's lives than just um, the paycheck that I was looking for. Um, so I think very quickly my goals kind of changed to the company is, is being partly a ministry in my life and being able to help other women meet needs that they have and just even just connect with each other um, in a way that they don't do very much anymore. Well, friendship, Premier has definitely enriched my life with um, friendships. Um, it, deepening some friendships I already had because um, that family group that I had initially met Lacey in is <laughs> pretty much half of the women that were in that family group are now premier ladies so it's not like I didn't know them but I feel like I know each and every one of them um, on a completely different level than I did before and then I met lots and lots of additional ladies that are jewelry ladies and beyond that um, I have met hostesses that I consider dear friends now and, and I think um, the the two that popped to my mind the most are both both ladies probably in their late 50s, early 60s, and I lost my mom when I was in my 30s, so it's kind of neat to have a couple of bit older ladies around that just seem to, um, to, to want to be a part of my life and want me to be a part of their life. It's kind of neat to go back and see them another six months later or to keep up with, you know, something going on in their life if they're 
their husband's been in the hospital, that kind of thing. Um, it's just amazing that doing a jewelry show at somebody's house can actually lead to a relationship that can be that fulfilling. I think that there probably isn't a per there, I think there probably isn't a woman in this country who can't be blessed by Premier. Um, not saying that every single woman would have the same need being met by being involved with Premier, but I think almost every woman in this country could have um, a need met by being in Premier, whether they really do need those finances or whether they do need, um, they just need connections with other people. Um, if, they're, if they're just at home with the young kids for all day every day and need something to call their own, or if it, there's somebody who is shy um, and who has not really felt successful at other things in their life, um, this is a great place where people will look at you, get to know you, and learn what you're about and help you figure out what your strengths are and help you figure out a way to shine, um, but not in a self-serving way. Um, all of those things come out as a way to serve other people because that's the core of what the company is all about. Um, it, but in, in, in the process of doing that, in the process of figuring out how to serve others, you can find out what your strengths are. My name is Cheryl Randolph, and my life has been enriched through Premier.